Hey guys, Augie with Unilock here in his beautiful job site in downtown Chicago. Uh, excited to show you guys the U-Level. Uh, we're gonna be going through basic functions of the U-Level all the way to the advanced uh, features that the U-Level has. Uh, so stay tuned and uh, let's get to it. First and foremost, uh, you're gonna see it's a nice heavy duty case. Uh, great to just throw back in, in the trailer and not worry about damaging the unit. When you open that up, you'll see it's nice and uh, foamed up, insulated shock absorption. As you take it out, you'll notice that there is a side, uh, a magnet side clip that will be a nice area to hang the actual readout unit. You'll see the front of the, the unit has a square box here. This is meant to be a oil reservoir. The actual line itself that is housed in the wheel case has about 100 feet of line that will give you a nice radius to work with. Uh, within that line is that, that oil. That oil is basically uh, what allows uh, the uh, U-Level to function as a measurement tool. Uh, for whatever reason, if you have to replace that oil, you can actually use the reservoir oil in this little package here to uh, fill in uh, the oil that was uh, leaked out. The other thing you'll notice is there's a, a spool in the middle, so you can nice and easily wind up the actual hosing, the 100 feet. And then lastly, and, and more importantly, uh, is the two holes on the top of the unit that you see here. You can take your edging spikes, drive them through the unit itself, through these two holes. You want that to stay put once you actually start your measurements uh, so you don't lose track of any of the, uh, your measurements and your readouts. Uh, one of the other cool uh, convenience features is uh, a extendable monopod that clips right to the outside of the case like you see here. Pop that out, extend it out to whatever height you're comfortable working with. It makes it very convenient uh, to use. Uh, the unit itself clips to it via magnet on the back of the unit to the metal plate on the monopod. So one important uh, thing to remember is if you are using your monopod uh, to do your measurements and you zero it out, on top of your monopod, uh, you have to stay within uh, that monopod measurement. If you take the unit and use it um, on grade without the monopod, that will throw off your measurement by the height of this monopod. So uh, just keep in mind, if you start on the monopod, measure everything with the monopod or do everything on grade. Otherwise your measurement will be uh, altered. So now moving on to the actual unit itself. Uh, what you'll notice is the screen here. Uh, and we've tried to keep it pretty simple. Uh, with only two buttons, you know, that, that will keep some of the functions relatively easy to perform. And so I'll kind of go over some of those right now. Obviously the easy one is, uh, it's labeled power. So if we actually hold that down, you'll see that it takes a couple of seconds, it powers up, goes through some cycling, and then you'll see the actual readout there. Uh, the other item that you can do right off the bat is by holding and pushing that power button, you can hear it cycling through feet, inches, and centimeters. So once you've figured out what you want to use, let it go, it sets. And then uh, the other thing that is good to know is there is a backlight that is sometimes nice to have on. So you can see the actual screen a little bit better. So that is the on uh, and that goes on by turning or tapping the zero button on and off. All right, they're pretty easy. The other couple of things that you want to know between these two buttons is basically using them in combination with each other. If you hold down the power and tap zero, you'll see that we're gonna get some lights here and that's gonna be for our range function. Pretty useful when you're working with an excavation uh, type of machine or there's more than one person using the unit. So next feature is our range feature uh, that, that can serve a couple different purposes on a job site. Uh, basically, you can zero out the unit and then set a parameter of uh, plus or minus a range of height uh, that you want to stay with uh, within. That's going to be used uh, primarily when you're excavating and getting your job site down to uh, whatever height you want for excavation comes in really handy. So to turn that on, go ahead and hold power, tab zero, and you'll see the lights come on. You can go ahead then by using the two buttons, go up and down and change your measurement. So you'll see there it's changing. You go ahead and let it go. And then you'll see that in a couple of seconds here, it'll set that range of uh, number right at that bottom. And then as you lower and raise this up, the unit colors change to let you know that you're high on level or below level. Uh, to turn that feature off, just go ahead and hit the power button right there, turns it all off. You're back to just a regular measurement readout. Other nice feature is the, to turn on the Bluetooth capability so that you can sync up with your app on your phone. So to do that, we're gonna go ahead and hold down zero and tap uh, our power button. And you'll notice that you get a little bit, a little uh, emblem there that shows the uh, Wi-Fi is on. Uh, one thing to kind of note 
is if you're not using the Bluetooth feature, go ahead and turn it off. It will slowly drain the battery because it's kind of constantly searching for that signal. So same thing, you're gonna go ahead and hold down zero, tap your power and you'll see that it turns it off. And then that way uh, you can serve some of that ba battery power. Uh, one other little tip here is the back of the unit. Uh, you'll see there's a set of six screws. Two of them here is for the battery pack. Go ahead and take those out. Uh, replace two AA batteries. I always keep two extras in the case just in case and then a screwdriver. It is uh, somewhat of a small uh, uh, Phillips that you need to so go ahead and keep that in the case as well. Uh, these are used to remove the backing in case you need to do any kind of modification or repairs to the line. There's a little clamp system in here that holds the line in. Go ahead and access that by removing those screws, making whatever adjustments you need to make and then capping that back on and you're good to go. One of the great things with the U-Level is that now you can actually partner it up with the app uh, we can get via the Apple Store or the Android Store. Um, and it really makes a dynamic uh, collection tool. Now we can take our heights, our distance, and get all that information, even overview uh, mapping features, and export them into uh, softwares like U-Vision uh, 3D Design. Uh, together, it makes it a really worthwhile tool to have in your arsenal at your job site. So a couple of things with the app, it looks a little bit different than what uh, we came out with uh, last year. So a couple of things we're gonna go over is uh, the big thing you'll notice right away uh, at the top, it says connected to leveler. So let's me know the user that uh, the units are talking to each other. Uh, next, you'll see the big uh, uh, screen there. Let me know the readout that the actual U level is taking. So nice and big for everyone to use. We have an active working compass that is used and will be coming handy when we use our uh, U vision software. Also, right over here is a new feature, the percent of slope. Uh, that button there gives me the ability to basically spot check my slope percentage on the job site. Pretty cool. Uh, next thing down here is our gathering buttons, our, our data gathering buttons. The view readings button uh, lets us basically take a look at all of our collected data from, from different jobs, pick and choose what you want to look at. Uh, the save reading tab is used to basically, you'll see the height there. You see a nice comment box there. We can put in as many or as little notes or no notes as you want, and then go ahead and hit save. The other item right next to that is a microphone button. Just like when you text, if you need to do it hands-free, go ahead and tap that button and you can speak your text into the uh, phone. It'll type it out for you. Really convenient tool. Uh, right at the bottom here, two, under, two new items. Uh, the questions and answers. We get a lot of questions on, you know, how do we do this? How can I look that? Do we have any kind of videos that I can watch before I use the U-Level? And the answer is yes. There's a plethora of information, both written and links to take you to videos to watch everything on and through the app. Lastly, uh, the image mapping uh, feature. That's a brand new uh, feature a lot of you haven't seen. Pretty cool. You tap on that button there, it'll take you to your pictures. You bring in your drone shot, put it in, and then start plugging your points with your U level on the actual picture of your job site. Again, gives you almost a you know, JPEG plata survey that you can use on your job site. Last few things I'm gonna go over with the app is the two functions on the top. Upper uh, right hand corner, there's a little ruler. And this is actually gonna be what we use for the most of the data gathering that we're gonna do, whether that's heights with our U-Level or a distance measurement that now will be synced up to your phone and use the phone GPS system to navigate distance on your job site. So uh, pretty cool that now we can get both a height and distance measurement right from uh, your phone. So again, that's what that, that system there is for. Backing out and going over to the other side of the screen on those three little dots, uh, you'll get a nice screen that pops up with a couple of options. The first one, is to help you find your Bluetooth signal uh, in case you're not connecting to the actual unit. Go ahead and tap that. Uh, right below it, you'll see it says firmware update. Uh, that's really important. Uh, we're gonna, just like every other app on your phone and the actual phone itself, we're gonna continuously update the U-Level. And so that's done via that button there and that option. It'll sync to your uh, U-Level and your phone and update both at the same time. So, you know, every couple of weeks, go ahead and check that, make sure you're not missing out on any of the uh, software updates. Uh, right below that, a couple items. Uh, you'll see that you can have toggle switches there to switch on and off. The first one is basically to, if you, uh, if you know you're gonna be at a job site, you're gonna take a lot of pictures, a lot of screen grabs, uh, you're gonna take a lot of points, a lot, just a big job site. Uh, you're probably gonna wanna turn that, the first button on, and that is basically to use uh, all the information, compress it, and then it will be sent out as a zip file. So a lot easier to send out all that massive data uh, using that, that that toggle switch there. Uh, the next one there is engineering units. 
If you click that one on, you'll actually go back to the main screen and you'll see you'll get three readouts. Uh, you can set a benchmark and then off of that benchmark, you will go plus or minus depending on what your measurements are. Uh, to get out of that, again, you're gonna tap those three buttons, toggle that off, and then you go back to your original setting. And then the last one is basically audible measurements. Uh, that is basically if you want the readouts uh, read out loud to you via your phone. Uh, nice little uh, convenience feature they added there to that. Same thing, toggle that on and off. All right, guys, now that we've gone through all that, uh, the basic stuff, now we're ready to start plotting points. So in order to do that, we're gonna go back into the app, go to that, tap that ruler button, and you'll notice you'll get a screen uh, that basically is giving you a view of, it's using your camera to give you a view of the, of the lay of the land. Uh, you'll see a bunch of yellow dots, that's normal. All that's doing is kind of reading the ground. Uh, it'll take a couple seconds. Once those are all gone, you're ready to start uh, taking some, some uh, points. I'm gonna go ahead and zero out by pressing and holding the zero button. I hear that beep, lets me know I'm zeroed out. I don't, need, I don't even need to look at the actual readout because I can see it on my phone. And now I'm gonna go ahead and tap that ruler button once and you'll see that my first point is plotted on there and it's in green. Green will always be a height number, right? And so as I walk to my next point, and again, I'm gonna hit that ruler button, I'll see that same height number in green. But if I go back to the middle of those two points, the one thing you'll notice now is you'll see a red number. Uh, that red number is actually the distance between those two points. So now, not only are we getting a height measurement, but between every two points, we're gonna be getting a distance measurement. So we're gonna get pretty much all the data you need for this job site, all with the use of your phone and your U-level uh, combined together. So once you walk the perimeter of your job site, uh, you know, you're gonna wanna close that out. So uh, to the left of the uh, ruler button, you'll see uh, what we call the closeout button. What you'll notice is it closes out the two last points that you've plotted. It completes a full circuit. Uh, now I have the perimeter of my job site mapped out both measurements of distance and height all together. Over to the right hand side, you'll see in the middle of the three buttons there, it looks like a little picture mountainside. If you tap that button there and it takes you to the next screen, uh, kind of cool. You'll see that you actually have your uh, job site plotted with measurements. And then as you scroll down, you have both your X and your Y and your Z measurements. Those are gonna be crucial to importing this data into a 3D software like Uvision. Uh, if you look to the top of the screen, to the right-hand side, it looks like a little download uh, button. If you tap that, uh, it will take you to a screen where you can actually name the file, so job site name if you prefer, and also a folder. Let's say you have multiple uh, plots on the same job site, you can actually get a job site folder as well. Hit save, and now that information is saved takes you back to the previous screen, at which point you can go to the top again, and now I get the option to text it or email it, and now every person that needs to see that information is going to have it in their inbox. If you have closed out your circuit, so your perimeter measurements are done, you close it out, you're gonna go ahead and tap that square with the two arrows, and it'll let you know that you're ready to put in some spot elevations within that circuit of uh, perimeter numbers. So you can walk through, and as you get to whatever spot elevation point you want, go ahead and tap in that ruler button again. And what you'll notice is you'll get a, a red dot with a green number. That green number, again, is for your elevation. So wherever you need a spot check or a spot elevation, go ahead and walk to that point with your uh, U-level, your phone, tap that ruler button, and you will get a measurement at every single one of those points. Again, a nice tool to have at your fingertips. Next feature is a new feature. Uh, actually, it's been on there, but now it's active. Uh, so now we can use it, which is the percent of slope button on the main screen. So if you go back to the main screen, you'll see that uh, that number there should be at zero. If you tap on it, you'll, get, you'll go back to the uh, measurement readout screen uh, where it takes your camera to read the ground. And really all you're gonna do is take uh, the measurement between two points. So uh, get your U-level set and ready, zero it out and then go ahead and tap that ruler button. And again, you'll see that green elevation number. Walk to your next point, repeat that process, press that ruler button. And the nice thing is what you should get on the next screen is your percent of slope. All right, the last feature uh, that we're gonna talk about is actually a new feature, uh, pretty new to the, uh, the app. And that is the image mapping uh, button, which is right down middle of the screen here. Uh, 
it's a nice feature to have. It allows you to take uh, some of your uh, aerial drone shots that a lot of you guys are already using and taking uh, to your job sites. Or if you don't have a drone, you can actually take it from grade and take a picture of the uh, area and into, import it into this image mapping feature. So when you tap that, that button, what you'll get is all of your pictures that will scroll up. Go ahead and choose the uh, picture of that job site you wanna choose. Uh, tap on the bottom right hand side where it says choose. And what you'll notice is crosshairs. Uh, you can actually move the image by taking the image and basically moving it around with your fingertip to whatever points that you wanna plot. Now, it's important to make sure that your U-level is connected to your phone because we're actually gonna plot our heights on your picture. So I'm gonna take the first point and set, hit my ruler button, and that's gonna set my first point. Then I'm gonna to move to my next uh, area. Same thing, I'm gonna move the crosshairs to that next point, hit the ruler button, and I'm gonna repeat it on all my perimeter areas on that picture for that job site. And now I'm getting active readouts of those heights on that picture. Uh, the other nice thing is if you look at the bottom, on the right side of the ruler button is the double arrow uh, button. If you tap that, and then uh, it'll tell you at the top to add your first point, you're gonna go ahead and pick your first point, tap the ruler button, move down to your second point, and now you can enter that known distance between those two points manually. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter that in right now, hit okay, and now you can see that right on that screen, not only do I have my height again via my U level, but I can manually type in my distance into that area again. And now you have a virtual uh, JPEG uh, platter survey of your job site without having to, to go and get one. So again, really robust feature. Um, you know, I think I can see a lot more happening with that particular feature especially in the 3D U-Vision software part of things. Once you're done plotting all those points, just as before when uh, we were walking our points out on the job site, you can actually send all this information, uh, including the picture uh, via email or text. And for those of you that are currently using U-Vision or plan to use U-Vision, we have made some changes both to the U-Vision side and the U-Level side to give you a seamless integration between the two softwares. So now they seamlessly talk to each other and recognize the data both from the U-Level into the U-Vision. So for those of you that have had some, some heartaches and some uh, time consuming designs when it comes to elevations, this is your answer. This is gonna make things a lot easier. All right, everyone, thanks. I know that was a lot of information to go through, but uh, as always, we have the best uh, reps in the industry. We got boots on the ground. Uh, feel free to reach out to any one of them uh, for help, both on the U-Level side or the app side. Remember, the U-Level and our U-Vision 3D software are both available for purchase on our website, www.unilock.com.